What's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna be doing the necessary chassis modifications for my Beatles independent rear suspension setup. Since I'm gonna be running a chain driven differential now, I need to have a structure to mount it to. And I'm also gonna be mounting my rear control arms off of that same structure. I also really wanna give a big thanks to this guy who's helping me right here. His name is Neil and he's the owner of Monument Motorsports. He's been nice enough to let me work out of his shop on the Beetle for the past few months. And he's also the person who was squeegeeing me in the opening clip of the video. He's uh, one of the funniest guys I've ever met and one of the nicest people. And so I just really wanted to give him a shout out. So once we get the Beetle in the shop, I'm going to start disassembling it a bit more. I only really had the suspension left on it, so I'm just going to take that off and then I can start cutting it apart. So I've planned how I'm going to cut it apart so I basically don't have to waste any material and I can reuse as much as I possibly can because it's uh, inch and an eighth chromoly and it's quite expensive. So with my previous rear end setup, I was really lucky in the fact that the stock Hayabusa exhaust just worked out perfectly. I didn't have to modify it whatsoever. 
Uh, I didn't get in the way of anything and it exited the car at a perfect place. Unfortunately, I'm not so lucky with the new setup and uh, my differential is going to be in the way. So I'm just taking the header off here and uh, it's kind of stuck and wedged in there. So I just end up hacking the back of it off because I don't really need it anyways. Since the table that the car is sitting on wasn't big enough for the whole frame, I basically just took a piece of angle iron and uh, a piece of two inch tubing and clamped them onto the bottom of the chassis. And then you can see that I am reusing the lower frame rails that I cut off and I'm re-welding them on at the desired width. And as you can see, it's kind of all taken shape. It's basically just a box off of the back of the chassis and the differential is going to mount inside of it. And then the control arms are going to mount on the outside of it. I reused the old upper frame rail and clocked it towards the center. This allows me to keep the same mounting location for my suspension rocker, as well as triangulate the new rear section of the chassis. I used the sleeve that my suspension rocker rotates on to determine the distance apart from the tab that I left on the chassis to the tab that needs to be re-welded on to the frame rail.
This tube that I'm notching here is going to be for the X brace at the very back of the chassis. I get it tacked in place and then I grab another tube and start planning the other side of the X brace. After another attack from Neil, I finish tacking in the X brace and then I fully weld it as well as the rest of the chassis. And here it is almost completely done. It still needs a couple more vertical tubes for the front of the control arms to mount to, as well as another horizontal tube that runs side to side that my differential will mount to. Uh, but the next step at this point is to get those vertical tubes in and then build my control arms. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.